So this is Bob. And Bob is about to eat his ice cream cone. So the sign down here labels him. His name is Bob. And inside his mouth, there are the teeth, the tongue, the salivary glands above, and the uvula right there. And then we'll go down into the esophagus. This is the epiglottis. It will keep food from going down the trachea, which would cause choking. Uh, right now, Bob is choking because he has watermelons stuck in his trachea. So we'll clear up that for Bob. Just a second. Now we are down in the esophagus. It looks like Bob is experiencing heartburn, which would irritate his um, esophagus. And now in the stomach, the walls are lined with mucus which prevents the stomach from burning from the acids inside of it. The food will stay in the stomach for a while until it turns into chyme, at which point it will exit the stomach into the small intestine. This water here is really bile and it is coming out of the gallbladder and the gallbladder is where bile is stored. Above it is the liver, which produces bile. And now we go back into the small intestine. Small intestine is about 20 feet long. So that makes the small intestine pretty long. Here we go. So now we're just going to walk ourselves down the small intestine. The walls of the small intestine are lined with villi, which will collect nutrients from the food as they pass by. And here's a poem. Roses are red, violets are blue, food goes in your mouth and it comes out as poo. Brought to you by my partner. And, and I guess we're going into the large intestine now, based on all of these bacteria germs. Jumping all over the place. There's more than... 5,000 types of bacteria inside of your large intestine. The large intestine is also where most of the water is absorbed into your body. The digestive system collects all of the food and takes all of the nutrients and uses it to power your body, which is how the diet which is how your body gets all of its energy. And that sign says it's kind of smells. That's probably because we're about to be exited from the body into the great unknown.